Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use and talk about. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know which kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Now, the last episode of Loadout was from a few weeks ago, and it was before Battlefield 4 was launched. Simply put, people didn't have all the information for the attachments that were going to be out in the game, so uh, you weren't able to make loadout suggestions the same way you have been able to in Battlefield 3. So I asked a few days ago on Facebook for people to give me loadout suggestions since we have a better idea of what's in the game now, and the top rated comment was to just review the AEK. And so. Not only am I going to review the AEK, but I'm going to tell you guys what I think the best loadout for this gun is. I've unlocked all the modifying attachments for it, so, and I played around with it, so I've got a pretty good idea about what works well. Now, the holy trinity of assault rifles in Battlefield 3 was the M16A3, the M416, and the AEK. In fact, a lot of people preferred the AEK over all the weapons. They just thought it was the flat-out best gun in the game, and I could see why. It was simply a beast of a weapon, and it was damn accurate, too. Surprisingly accurate for having a gun that shoots 900 rounds per minute, which still holds true in Battlefield 4. It still shoots that nice 900 rounds per minute, making it one of the highest damaging weapons in the game. Now, the AEK has gone through some changes from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4. The side-to-side -side recoil has been lowered. The vertical recoil has been increased. We've got a a lower reload time which is actually a pretty big deal the short reload is now 2.3 seconds as opposed to the 2.55 seconds from battlefield 3 we've gotten an aiming down sight accuracy improvement from 0.3 uh, to point two now so it's gonna be a slightly more accurate weapon at range and I gotta say that this gun kicks it's sort of like when you fire at your you're just sort of letting forth a torrent of energy that your player cannot control and you're gonna notice that very quickly the recoil is going to get out of hand when you're trying to full auto this weapon and I found the most effective way to use it is to just tap fire small bursts two to three round bursts at range uh, three to four round bursts at closer to medium range Range. and then of course if somebody's right in your face you can just go full auto and uh, hope for the best but this thing shoots so fast that even tap firing you're gonna notice you're going through your mag extremely quickly and uh, with the ammo bug that's still in the game right now where you basically chew through an entire magazine every time you reload this means that the AEK is gonna burn through your ammo very very fast so hang around support players get used to switching kits or switching your sidearm or whatever you gotta do cuz you are going to chew through this ammo like it's nothing now it should go without saying that as soon as you get any sight other than your iron sight so you should be using that and it's nice that only after 10 kills you unlock the Cobra red dot sight for this gun and I really like the Cobra even in Battlefield 4 I'm still debating if I like the Coyote sight over the Cobra sight I actually might prefer the Cobra sight still I think it's a great sight it works well on the AEK because uh, the Cobra sight is actually a Russian sight and so it seems to just sort of fit into the theme of the weapon visually and then the next three attachments that you get on your way to 40 kills helps you put together a fully complete assault rifle loadout you get the laser sight which improves your your hip fire accuracy you get the ergo grip which allows you to shoot from the hip more accurately while moving so now you've got a gun that can definitely perform well when shooting from the hip and then you get the muzzle brake which is going to allow you to control some of that vertical recoil which is something that just gets way out of control on this gun so those first four attachments you get actually put together a fairly good loadout with the AEK. Now, it's not my preferred loadout. I think you can put together a better one, but it's still not bad for just 40 kills. Now, the attachment systems in Battlefield 4 have come so far from BF3. It's just night and day. Battlefield 3 was just foregrip heavy barrel all day, every day, for pretty much every gun in the game. There's a few exceptions here and there, but for the most part, those two attachments just made every gun perform amazingly. There wasn't really much else to think about, which was really kind of uninteresting and unfortunate. Now, every gun in Battlefield 4 has very specific stats, and you can kind of customize it to your playstyle. There doesn't have to be one best setup for each gun. You can uh, sort of make one gun great for hip fire, and you can make the same gun great for long range accuracy depending on what you're in the mood for now each gun is not going to handle each attachment the same way but there are some things that uh, the AEK is going to perform the best with now because this gun has such 
crazy recoil uh, and it's, it's just really hard to control. I, my favorite attachments for this gun were things that controlled that recoil, allowed me to tame this weapon. Even with the attachments, I found it a pretty tricky weapon to use. But the first one that, or not the first one, but the most important one is the angled foregrip. Now this gun has some crazy first shot kick and the angled foregrip reduces that first shot recoil significantly. So no longer are you gonna get a massive kick when you fire that first round, which can sometimes make you lose your target or make it very hard to hit them with a follow-up shot. So that angled foregrip is going to be great for getting quick kills. Sadly, the angled foregrip just isn't going to be enough to control that crazy vertical recoil. The horizontal recoil can be a little bit, I wouldn't say extreme, but it pulls to the right pretty hard, but that is something that the user can control on their end. This is without a doubt an advanced gun. So if you're not good at recoil control, I would recommend sticking to a different weapon and perhaps trying out the AEK once you get better at your recoil control. That being said, the muzzle brake is a great addition to this weapon in addition to the angled foregrip because the muzzle brake further reduces that vertical recoil and allows you to better control it. Even with the angled foregrip and the muzzle brake, which uh, are the two best attachments for controlling vertical recoil, this gun still can get out of hand and it still becomes difficult to hit targets at range. So uh, the AEK, in my opinion, really is a great medium range weapon. Long range, you can definitely tap fire kills, but it gets a little bit more difficult to use. So I don't know if I've repeated those attachments enough, but angled foregrip, muzzle brake, angled foregrip, muzzle brake, that is the way to run the AEK at least in my opinion because I like to try and control that recoil if you have some sort of superhuman recoil control you could try something else if you want to throw a heavy barrel on there and just exacerbate that vertical recoil and try and control the gun you are welcome to and I would recommend just trying it out as everybody should at least see what the attachments do but I think you're gonna be kind of blown away by how hard this gun kicks when you put something like a heavy barrel on it you'll notice here that I'm actually running with the suppressor because I thought it would be fun to run around with a suppressed AEK and it certainly was and I was able to control the weapon somewhat but I do prefer the muzzle brake uh, and I will take the risk of showing up on the mini map just to have a weapon that is uh, more easy to control. Now the great thing about the attachment system in BF4 is that I can put the angled foregrip muzzle brake on there. That's how I like to run the gun. That's how I like to get used to controlling the recoil on this weapon. Now I have the options for accessories. I can put whatever sight I want on there. I can modify that sight. I can put it two times uh, sight magnifier on there, which I think is kind of pointless with the AK. It just simply doesn't have the accuracy to back it up uh, with the crazy rate of fire. But you can do stuff like a laser sight to give you a little bit better hip fire accuracy. You can put one of my quickly becoming my favorite accessory attachments is the tactical light. The light that turns on only when you're aiming down sights. So it doesn't give away your position when you're running between cover or you're just sprinting around. But when you're ready to engage your enemies and you put your you bring your sights up and you peek around that corner, the thing that they see first is your flashlight and it startles them, it blinds them, it makes it difficult for them to return fire with accurate shots. So that's a really fun way to run this weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave your comments down below letting me know what you'd like to see for the next episode of Loadout, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.